fun, so Colette uh, tours and the different arms of Colette and the different touring groups of that and also from corporate work, from doing performances, funds the girls. So that's their clothing, food, loads of things, education. The, the group's deemed at high risk, kids out of high risk situations in their lives from a whole myriad of different things. Yeah. Are you ready? Thank you. How many boys in the group? How many boys in the group? There's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Oh, boys! Oh, sorry. One at the moment here tonight, but there's, there's about six. It used to be 50-50, but over the years the girls took over, and it's only this year a lot of the boys have been starting to join up again. A lot of them left to play football and sport, and, whereas the girls were really proactive about it. Um, performance. And English is a second, third and fourth language to them. So I will explain later on you can ask them questions about who speaks Arunda? You stand up, you speak Arunda. Who speaks Lurija? Who speaks Pitanjara? Who speaks Walpuri? Who speaks Amajara? Amajara? <laughs> so her, her country is Amajara is Northwest, so about a couple of hundred kilometres from here. They stay in town and go to school. Her country belonged to it was a grandma, grandma or granddad, Muri, grandpa. So her country is Murujulu. So do you know Murujulu? Do you know Uluru? Have you been there? Well, there's Uluru, and right at the back of Uluru. It's more of a community, you're not allowed to go into it or anything, it's all Aboriginal. So her family's custodian to Uluru, and, and the oldest, and um, Katajuga, or just Uluru? What? Just Uluru. Yeah. Ready? Who speaks Japanese here? <laughs> really? Domo arigato. Konnichiwa. What? Let's go.